This is Shaman from RocketshipHQ.com and I'm going to walk you through how to create a mobile user acquisition campaign on Snapchat. Now, Snapchat can be an extremely powerful tool for powerful channel for mobile user acquisition, primarily because it's mobile only and also because it's way less competitive than Facebook and a lot of other mobile channels that you might encounter. Case in point, you just see the CPM for this particular advertiser. It's 264 uh, in the US, far lower than the CPMs you would probably see that these guys actually see for their uh, Facebook ads. Uh, I've worked with other advertisers where Snapchat basically hits it out of the park. So if you, especially if you have younger audiences, but even if you don't, I think Snapchat's certainly a channel that's worth testing. With that said, Snapchat still has some amount, some idiosyncrasies, some nuances to be very mindful of. Uh, and I, and in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through what uh, those nuances are, and I'm going to walk you through how to set up a Snapchat campaign. Right. So this is your home screen. Uh, obviously, if you have a brand new account, this is going to be empty, and click on new campaign. Okay, great. You want to click on advanced create. You're not a baby, so don't go to quick and easy. Click on advanced create. You want to select your objective. Important thing here, right? So you, you can click on app installs or app conversions, right? Uh, and these are the two that are most important to mobile performance advertisers mobile user acquisition campaigns, right? Because there's some objectives that are specific to web, website conversions, drive traffic to website, right? Uh, there's some that are platform agnostic like video views, lead gen, uh, but, and there's certain instances where awareness makes sense uh, and I will speak to it in a, perhaps one of the subsequent videos or one of our subsequent blog posts. But uh, for now, I would recommend using app installs if you're optimizing for CPIs or app conversions if you're if it's important that you drive conversions within your app, right? In this case, uh, I'm gonna go with conversions so we can optimize for an in-app purchase, right? Uh, daily spend cap, lifetime cap, lifetime cap. I'm gonna leave it empty for now. Let's go from campaign to ad sets. Great. So here we are setting up our ad set. I'm going to start with Snap Ad. I will come to Collection Ad in a subsequent video. And so I'm going to change the ad set name to be a little more meaningful. It's not happening. This is still loading. It's going to take a moment. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 anti collection ad. This is a snap ad. Great. There we go. It's, I would, this is something to note. The default is selected as deep link. And this is certainly something you should pick if you intend to re engage your users. Uh, or if you actually have deep links set up where you want to take users to a specific part of your app. I do find that a lot of advertisers, especially relatively smaller ones, tend not to have deep links set up. So you want to pick app install unless you have specific deep links. This is important to note because the default is deep link and you the word attachment doesn't exactly make sense in this context. It's one of the those idiosyncrasies just not as a platform. Right. So you go with the app install. Uh, typically I like to say all placements. Uh, all Snapchat. You can pick United States, gender, if you have a gendered product, pick what works for you. Uh, something that I find helpful, yeah, some, and now to target it better, you wanna, you can pick from lifestyles and lots of psychographics. So I could say mobile gamers. Uh, if that's the psychographic I wanna go after, I could go after 
beauty. That's important to me. So mobile gamers and beauty influencers, if that's important to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beauty mavens, maybe I could use that. I could use beauty mavens. Right. What I could also do is select custom audiences, to, uh, which is basically, I could select lookalikes of my existing users, which is something I find extremely powerful. So in this case, this is, these are emails that are uploaded, but you can make lookalikes of your emails and you can target them, especially if you're going after a national audience. You want to select your highest affinity users. Devices, uh, even though Snapchat can let you target iOS and Android both, I mean, you want to target them separately. Okay, so connection type, carrier, you could, if you choose to use that. Budget, I'm going to start with 500 a day. The goal, this is an important part because the default isn't always optimal, much like the attachment you saw up there, right? So you, if you're optimizing for in-app purchases, I would recommend using app purchase here and have a bid for an in-app purchase. Uh, in this case, as a placeholder, I'm using 50. Then this is important. To, it's important to note that this isn't the actual cost per purchase that you're going to get, at least in the beginning. Uh, but put the number that you're most comfortable with, and the algorithm is going to learn over a period of time, and you'll eventually stabilize around the cost of purchase number that you're targeting. Great. So in app purchase and now you click on next your ad okay and so this is where you add your ad creative and your ad creative that should be a tongue twister okay anyway uh, test add test app test headline top snap media very important to note that your you can only run portrait size 1080 by 1920 ads in Snapchat if the dimensions are and also under 5 MB, which I didn't realize I didn't know until I started recording this. Anyway, so portrait size only. Uh, you know, if you look at some of your other platforms like Facebook, you'd have suggested dimensions. And if you don't adhere to those, Facebook will automatically resize those. That's not the case on Snapchat. So you want to have exact sizing of your dimensions, of your creative. Right? So I've uploaded something. App name, test app, app ID. I have something. Uh, obviously, yeah. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Great. App icon again needs to be very specifically one to one aspect ratio. If it doesn't, won't get accepted by the snap interface. So let's see. Here we go. Okay, so we have uploaded the icon. We have uploaded the creative. Hopefully, it's still uploading, but hopefully, it will get done. Hopefully, it'll get done soon. And that is it. You don't need the impression tags or swipe up tags because your mobile measurement partner should take care of those. We have an ad creative. Right. So we set up the campaign. We set up the ad sets. We set up the ads. And now we can hit create. Great. Here we go. And we hit publish. Awesome, your ads are now publishing. Congratulations. Excellent. All right, guys. So that's how you set up a campaign on Snap. And if you have questions or if you find, want to find out more about what we do, go to rocketshiphq.com. Sign up for our email, email list there. 
and we'll have a lot more goodies like this coming up there. Thank you.